welcome back. My name is Rodney. Today we're going to talk about the weekend. Ooh, and I'm Keith, and this is the Dad Chronicles, where we decided to set out to chronicle our journey to get where we're going because it's one day at a time and we haven't gotten there yet. So that when our daughters look back and they see the uh, immense amount of success that we have in the next 20 years, that's right. They don't have to ask us how you did it because you know we from a bias standpoint has the tendency to consolidate information and forget details so this is an opportunity for them to look back on details about the things that we thought about the things that accomplished the things that have happened and here we are on the internet sharing community and building community with you i don't know why i laughed at that like that's not the goal i i, I, <laughs> I have a hard time accepting it sometimes right yeah, yeah, yeah that's so let's talk about the weekend the yeah. not the canadian artist out of toronto that is missing an e and bothers me every time i read it but i like his music mm -hmm. and not even just the weekend but we're gonna talk about like the weekend like so saturday sunday for most people for well, actually i guess that's the weekend always but some people don't have it off of work but that's we, we get it off yep. Mm -hmm. And there's this there's this little play on words thing I found on YouTube. I'll see if I can find it and share it. And it suggested that the word weaken, W E A K. Play what? Yes, obviously. Yes, I'm dead. Who's that? Um, weekend, the W E A K, is kind of what happens on the weekend because we drop our daily disciplines, we drop our focus. We sleep in, we, um, we don't focus on the things that we focus all week, and it weakens us. And then we wonder why we get a case of the Mondays when we get back into our routine. So we've dropped it, we come back in, it's like, oh, God, I got I to gotta pick this all back up. It's so hard, it's so heavy. Uh, that was what was suggested, and I kind of find that to be true for me. What about you? I've never found it to be true in my life because I didn't like what I was doing. And mm. so when many cases, um, I'm just kind of going through the motions of the week. Monday is Monday and then Tuesday is Tuesday. And then it's like, oh, Friday, I've got energy because I'm, I'm living the week for the weekend. So you got energy on the weekend, but did you did you find yourself with a case of the Mondays? Yeah, but a lot of that had to do with the shift back to what I wasn't living for. <clears throat> In current state, I love everything that we're doing with the podcast, the More In Common podcast, not the Dad Chronicles, two separate things, just to be clear. For, for those out there, two separate things. We have a branding thing, but... Our, our, yeah. cons our consulting. Yeah. And my love, my routine, and the workouts. And for the last, I would say, year in particular, but more so recently, Mondays, I love Mondays. I love my routine. I love everything. Come Friday, I'm actually in a place where I'm... Almost, and I, I want to be reluctant because I love spending all the time with my family, but I almost dread the weekends for that very purpose. I don't get up in the morning. I don't have the same routine. I don't journal. I don't meditate. I don't take that space for myself. I don't work out in the morning. My workout changes. Um, there's, there's no, the structure of it is entirely structure. different. And it throws We're highly me. structural craving beings, yeah. which a lot of people are, whether they realize it or not, just busy, just with how we work. But right. I think that that structure drop is the thing. And I don't need all of it, obviously, because I'm not working eight hours on a right. Weekend. I right. think like that the way I start the day and maybe just like a little bit of structure. I'm going to play with it this weekend and see what that does. But like it really messes with my head. I'm actually, we talked about this recently about um, spending time in reflection. And uh, I, I know that for me to do that, it has to be in the morning, right? Like it has to be in the morning. Like first thing when you wake up or like- what? Sometime b before noon. 
because afternoon, I'm just not as sharp keen. We've talked about this before in time. At night, oh, believe it, folks. I've talked to him afternoon. <laughs> at night, it's I, there's like doing that. It's just not my optimal. I could, I could force it in, but it's not my optimal. So I'm trying to work. I'm working my way into an earlier bedtime, an earlier wake. So this morning, I actually woke up at five thirty, and I'm going to start working my way to getting up at five a.m. between five and five fifteen, I should say. And in that to the point of weekends, I don't need to work out first thing in the morning because I have an alternative time in the day. I don't work out. I'm spending, you know, we have nap times and quiet times to navigate, but getting up at six might be the alternative versus just sleeping in until the kids wake up, right? Because all of a sudden I sleep in until the kids wake up and we're go, go, got to get breakfast, got to do these things. And I never take that space, whether it's to journal, to meditate. Then then you end up being mentally behind. Yes. All day trying to catch up. And it's not that you don't love the things like the family stuff and all the time. It's the, yes, baby. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's a D6. Let's, uh, oh, I rolled a one. That's uh, not great. Um, (laughs) It's as bad as you can do on that die uh, mathematically. Um, But I think that that being behind, and it happens on days where, where, the morning, actually this morning for me got kind of upset and I didn't get to do the full routine. So I've just kind of had to reschedule it into my day, but that's the thing. I rescheduled it into my day on Saturday, Sunday. I don't typically, I just have no framework for that. Right. Really. There's no framework. And, and on the weekends where our time and in reality, the other thing is during the week, my time is much more my time. Even though it's allocated to work, it's still my time. Whereas on the weekends, there's a lot more time spent so with family where my time may not 100% be my time because I want their time. Like I want that collective and collaboration, but that leaves little flexibility to give to yourself, which, I'm, which I accept. But now not having it in the morning, there's a lot less flexibility. But so, so I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work with it this week and I'm working with my whole routine in the morning and I'm going to, I'm going to start taking the weekends in a modified format of my weekday. So I don't lose that mental time and mental space in the morning. Let's, let's, why don't we like test it over the next couple of weeks? Yeah. Three, four weeks, but like report back yeah. weekly. I love it. I'll, I'll, how, it, how it goes. How do you manage it? Like, do you have that same effect on the weekends are you you know a friday's here a monday yeah. uh, you know monday um case of the mondays or do you try to manage your your schedule like how do you manage it this is new for us so we'd love is to it, learn from you is it 14 points of flare is that what gets you through the mondays or what's you know what's your preferred method is it 16 is it 18 i don't know let us know <laughs>